Recently, Porsche unveiled the Taycan Turbo GT, the most powerful and most track-focused version of their electric car yet. And together with its unveiling, they also announced that they'd broken two EV lap records with it, at both Laguna Seca and the Nürburgring Nordschleife. It lapped the green hell in 7 minutes and 7 seconds, breaking the existing EV lap record previously held by the Tesla Model S Plaid by 18 seconds. As for Laguna Seca, it did its lap in 1 minute and 27.8 seconds, faster than any production car barring the million pound McLaren Senna. And if you've been to this channel before, you can probably see where this is going. We're going to aim for one of those records in GT7. We're going to go for the Laguna Seca one to see if we can match that time. Why Laguna Seca you ask? Well, there's already an excellent video out there by Hubblesphere who has done this kind of thing with the Nordschleife record, and I will link that video down below. However, the first step of this is going to be the car. Of course, we don't have the Turbo GT model in the game, we have the old Taycan Turbo S. So, first of all, we need to replicate that car as closely as we possibly can. As you may know, one of the Taycan Turbo GT's most headline-grabbing stats is its 1100 horsepower power figure that we cannot replicate in GT7. But that's not as bad of an issue as you might think because that power is only available during attack mode, which only lasts for a couple seconds at a time. For the most part, the car produces 780 horsepower, which we can achieve in GT7 by purchasing the fully customizable computer. The Turbo GT is also 140 kilograms lighter when equipped with the Vysak package, which is the version of the car that set the lap records, but that can easily be replicated in GT7, no problem. I've equipped sports soft tyres and downloaded a style from the in-game showcase to best replicate the aero mods. And there we have it. That's basically it. That's our GT7 version of the Taycan Turbo GT. And now all that's left is to see how this lap goes against the real thing. So there we have it, we ended up beating the in real life record by about 7 tenths of a second, which while pretty close is not an insignificant margin. So let's take a closer look at the laps and see where those differences presented themselves. Because it very much was a tale of two halves. At the start point of the lap, the real car was carrying more speed, but through the kink, the game car carried more speed. However, this didn't matter as the in real life version reached turn 1 first and also got out of it first. This carried on all the way into turn 3, same with the exit, and then peering at the first checkpoint, the bridge, it's about 6 tenths ahead for the real car. Similar story through turn 4, the real car is again a little bit faster on the straight and maintains most of its advantage into turn 5. Exiting turn 5, the real car has slipped back to about 9 tenths behind. 
However, through turn 6 it does carry more speed. Coming up the hill towards the corkscrew, the gap is now under half a second. And here at the corkscrew is where everything changes. It carries more speed through, and by the exit, it's only two tenths behind. Coming through turn 9, it gets ever closer still, and by the time we're halfway through the penultimate corner, the two cars are neck and neck. However, it's at the final corner where it all changes. Under braking and out of the exit at the final corner, the game counterpart gets all its advantage and is able to cross the line at about the same speed, but after making up all that time. So it appears that the overall picture is the real car was faster on the straights thanks to the use of attack mode and being able to have more power, but the game, with this setup of car and maybe the tyres, allowed you to brake later and carry more corner speed through. So perhaps a tyre compound less aggressive, the sports medium, would perhaps be more realistic for this. Especially as it didn't seem like the real driver Lars Kern left much on the table in that run. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I had a ton of fun making this one. So let me know what you think. And as ever, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.